Well, it's Gojo4 with you once again. How are you guys doing? Ladies and gentlemen, it is here. The moment we've been waiting for possibly months now. The Godzilla Resurgence trailer has been dropped. It came out this week. I know I'm a little late. I'm a couple days behind. I've been busy um, with other things. But I wanted to get a reaction out to you guys. So let's just get started. Let's dig right in. This is the Godzilla Resurgence official trailer. Not that little teaser we got back in December. This is the real deal. Let's do this. Look at that. Did you did you see that? I mean, that's 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 the way you start out. Classic Godzilla roar is back, and he's looking he's looking quite. Look at that. Look at that fierce little. Um, there's been quite a debate on whether that's a puppet or not. Um, or that CGI. In fact, there's a whole there's gonna be a whole debate on if this Godzilla in this uh, in the the footage in this trailer is the CGI or the puppet suit. But it looks great either way, and I love the classic roar. I have heard some people suggesting that this is not the final roar in the film. This is just a placeholder. But they wanted to use the classic roar to kind of remind you that this is the original Toho Godzilla. Yeah, that tail is big. Everybody's been talking about that tail. That tail is huge, um, but a really cool shot. Um, we got kind of some similar shots in 2014 that also showed how big the tail was, but I just love this whole... Uh, it's, it's just really well done, this whole shot. And, and, I mean, look at this. This just goes... I mean, that's so cool, just right over their heads. And I mean, it's... it's um, Composited in pretty well. I want to say again, I don't know if it, that's CGI or the suit, but um, you know, I, I can't really tell. I think it's I think it's the suit. I want to say everything in this trailer look everything in this trailer looks like it's a suit, but if it's CGI, it's done really. I mean, it looks real though. That's what's nice. And of course, I mean, here he is on on his glory. I mean, it's just. This this shot is interesting because it's very nonchalant. It's just like there's Godzilla in the background, and of course, I mean, look at that mean that beautiful mug. Mm. He's so happy looking in this movie. I he's so excited. And just him smashing building. I mean, Godzilla being Goji. Oops, I accidentally stepped in this house. I mean, that's, I mean, this is a nice shot because we get nice detail on the spines. Like, really, I'm loving, you know, the spines. I think God, the spines are kind of what makes Godzilla's personality. It's what makes him so famous, really. It's like, he's not just a big dinosaur, but like, the spines on his back give him character. It's kind of like, if you will, Darth Vader's helmet. Batman's mask. It's like a little extra piece that like isn't necessarily the whole character, but without it, it wouldn't be that. Um, so the spines kind of make Godzilla who he is. And if you look at these details, I love this magma red lava look that's going on. And of course, now we're kind of getting more into the human characters, and the, this must be like the disaster site, the disaster control center unit. Yeah, this is our, um, I think this is kind of, she's supposed to be like an American agent. Um, so I've heard. I love this shot right here. This is one of the best shots. That's just the human shot. Because it just, the, the chaos, the pandemonium. Um, I think that's something that the 14 didn't do terribly. Um, but we'll see how this film does it. Because the 2014 did, did make you feel like people were panicking, people were evacuating. But this also is really nice. I love seeing this traffic jam and people running between the cars. That's something very classic in a lot of the Showa, and I mean a lot of the Toho Godzilla films. I mean, look at this, man. They definitely uh, pristine, nice shots of Tokyo, you know. And of course, yes. I mean, uh, just the destruction in this film. 
you're going to really see it. And, uh, but I mean, it definitely doesn't look like they're scaling back on the budget because look how destroyed. One thing I like, I mean, say what you will about Attack on Titan, but it definitely had good production value. Like, there was whole sets, just destroyed areas. It looks so good. I was blown away by that. And they have definitely continued that trend of having nice, great sets. I really dig this whole destroyed... I mean, look at this thing. This is a disaster zone. It's awesome. <laughs> And this is a cool shot, just that movie. Now, hopefully the Navy will actually uh, be attacking Godzilla in this movie. I mean, that's just a nice shot there. I think that's, um, I mean, it's, it looks like it's CGI the way it moves, but I think it could be real footage of a helicopter. I mean, that's probably one of the coolest shots in this trailer right there, the tank. And, I mean, there's the other one. I mean, th this part... We got, let's see that tank shot one more time. I mean, that's so cool. The rotating tank shot and Godzilla's still in the shot. I mean, come on, you can't, you can't deny this cool shot. But this one is a great one, too. I mean, that, that was a lot. There was a lot to take in from that. But uh, essentially, they're going to throw everything they have at him. I mean, if you saw those huge artillery guns, this isn't just tanks and missiles. This is full-scale artillery fire they're hitting Godzilla with. I mean, they're pounding Godzilla with ammunition. This is not like Godzilla 2014 where they fired some missiles at him and then he avoided the, you know, it kind of felt like Godzilla in that movie danced around the military to try to harm they throw everything at him in this movie. Holy crap. And it does. He looks like he's just like, whatever. He's just taking it. And then, of course, very nice classic shot of Godzilla in the far background with the city in ruins as he walks. They're just their nice you know, little sexy money shot there for you. Um, but you can really see the burning. Uh, if you, I mean, essentially, he's a lot like a burning Godzilla cross with Godzilla 1954. If you really, you know, and then further disfigured and mutated. And this is kind of an interesting shot. They chose to end on this and not Godzilla. Or not just a black screen, but the chose to end on this character. Um, so I think it's supposed to kind of point out the human drama is going to be important in this film. Um, anyway, July 29th, and I was reading that the IMAX, the MX 4D, the 4DX is like the 4D theaters, you know, where like the chairs move and there's sense and all this stuff. It's kind of the, you know, more fancy theatrical experience. Anyway. So, but an interesting trailer. I did not expect so much Godzilla to be revealed throughout the trailer, but yet so little is revealed. There's no dialogue, it's just music. So we know nothing about the story still. I mean, we've seen a ton of Godzilla, but we know crap. We don't know anything about the story. A good trailer all around, I think. Um, I'll put it in the link below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. I mean, I'm assuming you guys had already seen it by now, so I didn't want to just do my first reaction because... You guys have already seen it by now. I'm sure you've seen other people react to it. So I want to give you more of my play-by-play, shot-by-shot analysis, because I think that's more interesting. Um, in other news, a distributor has picked it up. Apparently, it's called New World Cinemas. Unfortunately, rumor has it they're not going to do a theatrical release in the United States. We might have to wait till 2017 for some kind of DVD release. Um, but I will try and see the movie before that. I would love if maybe there was some kind of theatrical release this year. So we'll see. But we'll see. You know, this is fresh. This just came out a couple of days ago. Maybe as momentum builds and things could change. And maybe we will get a theatrical release this year. That would be exciting. Um, but anyway, guys, that's all for this video. This is very exciting. Godzilla's back. And he's looking meaner than ever. Oh, also, they've already announced figures. There's already promotional stuff going on. So I'll have much more news as that comes up. Yeah, toys are coming. Um, there's already been, like, product placement banner ads in Japan. So exciting stuff, guys. It's a good time to be a G-Fan. All right, guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful night. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.